Hey bosses, let's get into this day that I am having. It is currently 9 p.m. on, well, no, 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 I'm lying. It is not 9 p.m. I got off work at 9 p.m., came home and grabbed my son, took him to his grandmother's house, and now I am back. And I am working in the office. So it currently it's around 1030 at night. And I am doing these two rush orders that I got earlier today that needed to be done by 12 p.m. tonight. But did not get design approvals or even pictures for me to do the design until 10 o'clock p.m. But I was asked to do these since 3.30 earlier p.m. So, y'all, I don't know what to say. I don't know how I'm feeling, but I did it. It got done. And it's cool. So I'm not quite mad at it. You understand? I'm not quite mad at it. Okay, so the first shirt you just saw me do is a shirt that I had. I grabbed, I got the DCF print for it this morning. So that one was pretty much okay. It's this next one that I'm going to do that I did not get the pictures for until a few minutes ago. Literally ago. So you are going to see me actually do up this design for this jumpsuit in real time. It's going to be sped up because I was not going to let y'all sit here and watch a whole one hour of me doing rush orders. So I sped it up. So please excuse how my office area is looking right now. These past couple of days, I have been working on a couple of things. I've been in my office more, and I wasn't planning on being on camera tonight. But since this is the first, this is the first time that I've ever gotten a rush order like this at that needed to be done by midnight on the same night. It's kind of like, let's, let's, let's record this. Let's get this on camera. Let's do this thing here. So what I'm doing right now is just getting this order out the way because it was easy, simple. The only thing for this order, I was just waiting for the DCF print to come in and it came in, it came in later than I wanted it to. It was supposed to come in yesterday, so it could have got it dropped off today. But nonetheless, it's still going to get dropped off tonight because it is a local order. And this is something I could just stick in her mailbox. Therefore, she'll have it by tomorrow. And it is a Father's Day shirt. So, you know, got to have it ready since Father's Day is on Sunday. So, this is Friday night. I don't know if I remember if I mentioned that. This is Friday night. Friday before Father's Day. So, right now, I am getting the final portion of this project done, um, cut. Normally, y'all know how I normally like to do my products, projects. If y'all been with me for a while, y'all know how I like to do my projects. I like to get my cutting done first. If I have some time, because you know I work two jobs. I have a disabled husband, and I also have two children. So, I do my... Cutting in one night, normally the nights nights when I come home from work, and I do my pressing either the morning before I go in or when I come back before I go into the second one, depending on the day, because I have different time frames of stuff. So my business is put in between everything. I either catch up on some stuff in the morning times when I wake up before I go to work, when I come home from my first job before I go home to my, go to my second job, I do some business stuff there. And then if it's something major, when I come home at 9, 12, or 2 a.m., depending on what time I get off that night, I will do some more things there. It's just so my customers can get their packages out in a timely fashion. But 
the fact that I don't anywho so what you see me doing is I do a, most of my designing I do on Canva and most of the time I do it on my phone because it's easier for me a lot of people use their computer because it's easier for them me on my phone it's easier for me because most of the times I'm getting pictures especially pictures um custom orders when it comes to pictures and so forth most of the times I get them through Instagram and through DM messagings or through messaging text messaging so I do all of that on my business phone so right now I'm on my business phone and I'm going through and I am on Canva and I am grabbing the pictures from my other phone to my business phone and I'm gonna go ahead and design this in Canva I is not I'm I've already typed out the phrases and words that's going on the jumpsuit and they're pretty much being cut in the Cricut at the current moment right now I am just working on the picture portion of it where she wanted a couple of three different pictures on the jumpsuit so right now that's what I'm doing because Canva has the frames so that is what I'm using I'm using a frame I believe it's in the shame of an octagon or a hexagon might be a hexagon um, and I just dropped the pictures because I like the way the hexagon shape look and I'm fitting the pictures inside of the hexagon shape in the way I, I like it to look. I'm going to save it and I'm going to send it, save it to my phone and then I'm going to upload it in Cricut. I do upload everything that I do design through my phone into Cricut and then I will jump into Cricut resize and do all of that good stuff but most of my designing is literally done on my phone guys like I'm in my morning job that's why I was trying to get these pictures earlier because I could have done the designing this morning on my morning job on my downtime because I do have a few maybe an hour hour and a half of downtime during the mornings when I'm at my morning job but in the afternoon time at my second job there is no dime downtime for me to go and say okay let me go do a design right quick no I don't have that luxury so the majority of the times I that's why I design on my phone and they come out nice the only thing that I don't like about the canva when I design on canva and I want to upload it to Cricut if I upload it as an SVG it's gonna come out all wonky especially if I have some of their elements to, so I don't really do that if I want to do that kind of designing I will do it inside of Cricut but I still use my phone for that because it's easier for me to just da, 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 da. I could use my laptop because I do have a 360 where it can turn into a tablet and that's just a bigger phone for me but anywho I just prefer my phone <clears throat> I have the pixel what do I have the pixel 6 I believe that's what I have the pixel 6 as my business phone and I have the Samsung s23 as my normal phone so between those two phones I design pretty de pretty decent on my phone so I'm good so right now I just did the cut out the HTV sublimation vinyl that I'm going to sublimate the pictures on for this jumpsuit so now that everything is all cut out we are all ready to press i'm going to go ahead and do my pre-press <clears throat> and everything so we can get all the moisture out go ahead and do a little lint roll so we can get all the lint off while the heat press is still heating up and i'm going to go ahead and press on the first layers of vinyl before we hit our 385 mark for our sublimation because when I do vinyl and sublimation I always normally go with the sublimation first then turn down the heat press and then I'll do my vinyl 
But since this is a rush order, and I'm just going to do everything out in one and hope to God and pray to God that nothing messed up. And thank God nothing did mess up. I can say that now because this this has already been done and delivered to whom it's going. This is the next day as I'm editing it. <clears throat> Sorry. But yes, as you guys can see, I've done the vinyl part. Making sure that everything is stuck. So we're going to go ahead and press again. Now we're going to go ahead and do the other side. That was the wrong way. Now we're going to go, I think, no. Yes, we're going to do the leg. Parts of these parts have been kind of, out. I think because my camera was messing up a bit, I believe. So if I can remember correctly, I did not record every single part of this process because my camera was running out of space. So you saw me put the vinyl down, but you didn't see me line up the picture to sublimate. Now I'm just adding that extra piece, extra cleaner butcher paper so we don't get no ink transfers because we are dealing with sublimation ink and it does like to transfer with heat. Take the carrier sheet off and now we're going to go and add that last piece to the back right underneath that picture letting the girl know that everything is ready she can come she can be on her way here right now I'm just going to show y'all what it looks like and then we're going to go ahead and pack it on up and I can call it a night. It is now, I got it done by 12.15 is the time when I was completed, packaged up, and ready to go. That's all that I'm going to have left to do, but the girl did not come and get these until about 1 o'clock. But... Anywho, for it to be a rush job, I kind I love the way it came out. It came out exactly how she wanted it, the way she wanted it, saying it with a few extra touches because I am a boss. Anywho, if you like what you see, please like the video, subscribe to the channel so you become a part of the boss family, and I'll see y'all on the next one. Bye.